Elliptic curve cryptography is an approach to public key cryptography based on the algebraic structure of elliptic curves over finite fields. ECC requires smaller keys compared to non-ECC cryptography to provide equivalent security. Elliptic curves are applicable for encryption, digital signatures, pseudo-random generators and other tasks. They are also used in several integer factorization algorithms that have applications in cryptography, such as Lenstra elliptic curve factorization. Rationale Public key cryptography is based on the intractability of certain mathematical problems. Early public key systems are secure assuming that it is difficult to factor a large integer composed of two or more large prime factors. For elliptic curve-based protocols, it is assumed that finding the discrete logarithm of a random elliptic curve element with respect to a publicly known base point is infeasible. This is the elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem, or ECDLP. The security of ECC depends on the ability to compute a point multiplication and the inability to compute the multiplicand given the original in product points. The size of the elliptic curve determines the difficulty of the problem. The primary benefit promised by ECC is a smaller key size, reducing storage and transmission requirements, i.e., that an elliptic curve group could provide the same level of security afforded by an RSA-based system with a large modulus and correspondingly larger key. For example, a 256-bit ECC public key should provide comparable security to a 3072-bit RSA public key. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology has endorsed ECC in its Sweet B set of recommended algorithms, specifically elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman for key exchange and elliptic curve digital signature algorithm for digital signature. The U.S. National Security Agency allows their use for protecting information classified up to top secret with 384-bit keys. While the RSA patent expired in 2000, there may be patents in force covering certain aspects of ECC technology. Though some argue that the Federal Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Standard and certain practical ECC-based key exchange schemes can be implemented without infringing them. History The use of elliptic curves in cryptography was suggested independently by Neil Koblitz and Victor S. Miller in 1985. Elliptic curve cryptography algorithms entered wide use in 2004 to 2005. Theory for current cryptographic purposes, an elliptic curve is a plane curve over a finite field which consists of the points satisfying the equation along with a distinguished point it, infinity, denoted infinity. This set together with the group operation of elliptic curves is an abelian group with the point at infinity as identity element. The structure of the group is inherited from the divisor group of the underlying algebraic variety, as is the case for other popular public key crypto systems. No mathematical proof of security has been published for ECC as of 2009. Update. Cryptographic schemes. Several discrete logarithm-based protocols have been adapted to elliptic curves, replacing the group with an elliptic curve. The elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman key agreement scheme is based on the Diffie-Hellman scheme. The elliptic curve integrated encryption scheme, also known as elliptic curve augmented encryption scheme or simply the elliptic curve encryption scheme. The elliptic curve digital signature algorithm is based on the digital signature algorithm. The Edwards curve digital signature algorithm is based on Schnorr signature and uses twisted Edwards curves. The ECMQV key agreement scheme is based on the MQV key agreement scheme. The ECQV implicit certificate scheme. At the RSA conference 2005, the National Security Agency announced Suite B which exclusively uses ECC for digital signature generation and key exchange. The suite is intended to protect both classified and unclassified national security systems and information. Recently, a large number of cryptographic primitives based on bilinear mappings on various elliptic curves 
curve groups, such as the violent eight pairings, have been introduced. Schemes based on these primitives provide efficient identity-based encryption as well as pairing-based signatures, sign encryption, key agreement, and proxy re-encryption. Implementation some common implementation considerations include domain parameters to use ECC. All parties must agree on all the elements defining the elliptic curve, that is, the domain parameters of the scheme. The field is defined by P in the prime case and the pair of M and F in the binary case. The elliptic curve is defined by the constants R and B used in its defining equation. Finally, the cyclic subgroup is defined by its generator G. For cryptographic application, the order of G, that is the smallest positive number n such that, is normally prime. Since n is the size of a subgroup of it follows from Lagrange's theorem that the number is an integer. In cryptographic applications this number h, called the cofactor, must be small once to construct one's own domain parameters. One should select the underlying field and then use one of the following strategies to find a curve with appropriate number of points using one of the following methods. Select a random curve and use a general point counting algorithm, for example, Skoof's algorithm or skoof elke zakin algorithm. Select a random curve from a family which allows easy calculation of the number of points, or select the number of points and generate a curve with this number of points using complex multiplication technique. Several classes of curves are weak and should be avoided. Curves over with non-prime M are vulnerable to vile descent attacks. Curves such that N divides for sufficiently small B are vulnerable to Menezes Okamoto Vanston attack which applies usual discrete logarithm. Problem in a small degree extension field of dissolve ECDLP. The bound B should be chosen so that discrete logarithms in the field are at least as difficult to compute as discrete logs on the elliptic curve. Curves such that are vulnerable to the attack that maps the points on the curve to the additive group of key sizes because all the fastest known algorithms that allow one to solve the ECDLP need steps. It follows that the size of the underlying field should be roughly twice the security parameter. For example, for 128-bit security one needs a curve over, where, this can be contrasted with finite field cryptography which requires 3072-bit public keys and 256-bit private keys and integer factorization cryptography which requires a 3072-bit value of n, where the private key should be just as large. However the public key may be smaller to accommodate efficient encryption, especially when processing power is limited. The hardest ECC scheme broken to date had a 112-bit key for the prime field case and a 109-bit key for the binary field case. For the prime field case, this was broken in July 2009 using a cluster of over 200 PlayStation 3 game consoles and could have been finished in 3.5 months using this cluster, when running continuously. The binary field case was broken in April 2004 using 2,600 computers over 17 months. A current project is aiming at breaking the ECC2K130 challenge by Certicom by using a wide range of different hardware, CPUs, GPUs, FPGA, projective coordinates. A close examination of the addition rules shows that in order to add two points, one needs not only several additions and multiplications in but also an inversion operation. The inversion is one to two orders of magnitude slower than multiplication. Fortunately, points on a curve can be represented in different coordinate systems which do not require an inversion operation to add two points. Several such systems were proposed. In the projective system each point is represented by three coordinates using the following relation. In the Jacobian system a point is also represented with three coordinates, but a different relation is used. In the Lopez-Dehab system the relation is 
In the modified Jacobian system the same relations are used but four coordinates are stored and used for calculations, and in the Chudnovsky Jacobian system five coordinates are used. Note that there may be different naming conventions, for example, IEEE P1363-2000 standard uses projective coordinates to refer to what is commonly called Jacobian coordinates. An additional speed-up is possible if mixed coordinates are used. Fast reduction reduction modulo P can be executed much faster if the prime P is a pseudomacena prime, that is, for example, or compared to Barrett reduction, there can be an order of magnitude speed-up. The speed-up here is a practical rather than theoretical one, and derives from the fact that the moduli of numbers against numbers near powers of 2 can be performed efficiently by computers operating on binary numbers with bitwise operations. The curves over with pseudomacena p are recommended by NIST. Yet another advantage of the NIST curves is that they use a equals minus 3, which improves addition in Jacobian coordinates. Many of the efficiency-related decisions in NIST FIPS 186-2 are suboptimal. Other curves are more secure and run just as fast. Applications Elliptic curves are applicable for encryption, digital signatures, pseudo-random generators and other tasks. They are also used in several integer factorization algorithms that have applications in cryptography, such as Lenstra elliptic curve factorization. NIST recommended 15 elliptic curves. Specifically, FIPS 186-3 has 10 recommended finite fields. Five prime fields for certain primes P of size is 192, 224, 256, 384, and 521 bits. For each of the prime fields, one elliptic curve is recommended. Five binary fields for M equal 163, 233, 283, 409, and 571. For each of the binary fields, one elliptic curve and one Koblitz curve was selected. The NIST recommendation thus contains a total of five prime curves and ten binary curves. The curves were ostensibly chosen for optimal security and implementation efficiency. In 2013, the New York Times stated that dual elliptic curve deterministic random bit generation had been included as a NIST national standard due to the influence of NSA, which had included a deliberate weakness in the algorithm and the recommended elliptic curve. RSA Security in September 2013 issued an advisory recommending that its customers discontinue using any software based on dual underscore EC underscore DRBG. In the wake of the exposure of dual underscore EC underscore DRBG as an NSA undercover operation, Cryptography experts have also expressed concern over the security of the NIST recommended elliptic curves, suggesting a return to encryption based on non-elliptic curve groups. Security Side channel attacks unlike most other DLP systems. The EC edition is significantly different for doubling depending on the coordinate system used. Consequently, it is important to counteract side-channel attacks using, for example, fixed-pattern window methods. Another concern for ECC systems is the danger of fault attacks, especially when running on smart cards. Backdoors cryptographic experts have expressed concerns that the National Security Agency has inserted a backdoor into at least one elliptic curve-based pseudo-random generator. Internal memos leaked by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden suggest that the NSA put a backdoor in the dual ECDRBG standard. One analysis of the possible backdoor concluded that an adversary in possession of the algorithm's secret key could obtain encryption keys given only 32 bytes of ciphertext. Quantum computing attacks elliptic curve cryptography is vulnerable to a modified Shor's algorithm for solving the discrete logarithm problem on elliptic curves. A quantum computer to attack elliptic curve cryptography can be less than half the size of a quantum computer to break an equivalently classically 
secure version of RSA. This is because smaller elliptic curved keys are needed to match the classical security of RSA. The work of Prus and Zalka show how a quantum computer for breaking 2048-bit RSA requires roughly 4096 qubits, while a quantum computer to break the equivalently secure 224-bit elliptic curve cryptography requires between 1300 and 1600 qubits. Depending on the growth rate of quantum computers in the future, elliptic curve crypto systems may become attackable by a quantum computer many years before an equivalently secure RSA scheme. To avoid quantum computing concerns, an elliptic curve-based alternative to elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman which is not susceptible to Shaw's attack is the supersingular isogeny, Diffie-Hellman key exchange of DeFeo, Zhao and Plut. It uses elliptic curve isogenies to create a drop-in replacement for the quantum attackable Diffie-Hellman and elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman key exchanges. This key exchange uses the same elliptic curve computational primitives of existing elliptic curve cryptography and requires computational in transmission overhead similar to many currently used public key systems. In August 2015, NSA announced that it planned to transition in the not-distant future to a new cipher suite that is resistant to quantum attacks. Unfortunately, the growth of elliptic curve use has bumped up against the fact of continued progress in the research on quantum computing, necessitating a re-evaluation of our cryptographic strategy patents. At least one ECC scheme and some implementation techniques are covered by patents. Alternative representations Alternative representations of elliptic curves include Hessian curves, Edwards curves, twisted curves, twisted Hessian curves, twisted Edwards curve, doubling-oriented docker i cart curl curve, tripling-oriented docker i cart curl curve, Jacobian curve, Montgomery curve.